Hello everyone and welcome. Today I am going to teach you how to create your very own custom truck in City Skylines. First on the City Skylines Steam page there is a guide by STM Santana. So I'm going to click on guides over here next to the workshop and I'm going to search paintable truck. And here we see we're looking for the uh, paintable ad truck by STM Santana. So we will click on that. He gives a step-by-step -step instructions on what to do. And you can see it gets very long, lots of pictures, which makes it easy. Up here is what we are looking for to get started. So here we see download source files. Uh, this will take us to a Google Drive page. This Google Drive page, which includes uh, the Lori files. So if we open that, we can see all of these files, which we will need uh, to make the truck. We're going to download these. In your downloads folder, you will find the file folder that downloaded. It's gonna be a zip and we will need to extract these files. So up here we will click extract all. It will create another folder and inside it will include all of the files that we need now extracted. Uh, you can see this uh, file that's called Lori is a 3D object. Lori LOD, it's also the 3D object. That's actually the model of the truck. The only two files in here, that now they're all important to uh, make the truck work. But the only two we need to worry about for editing purposes are the Lori D and the LOD. And so the Lori D file is the truck template. This is what is going to get wrapped around the 3D model. The LOD file is the low resolution version. So when you're zoomed out and things get kind of blurred, uh, this is what the game is going to show. So the next thing we need is some graphic design software. And there are plenty of free versions out there available that you can either use online or you can download the application to your PC. I'm going to show you Canva at canva.com. So Canva is free to use. They do offer a paid subscription that unlocks other features or other designs. We're going to start with Lori D. If you notice, the dimensions are 1024 by 1024. So I am going to create a design with a custom size that is 1024 by 1024. All right, so here I am going to go into these files. I'm gonna grab this, I'm just gonna drag it over. And now we can see this template that we have here. Now the nice thing about this template that STM Santana gave us is that all of the parts that you will need to paint on this truck or create something on are transparent. So if I go and I choose different background colors, you can see how those colors have changed. All right, I think I'm gonna give this truck a, whoops, a blue background if I can click on that, all right. And as you can see, there's not a lot telling us here what is going on. Okay, so this is the the right side of the truck, the top of the truck, and the left side of the truck. Over here, of course, is the back doors. This small blue square here represents the entire front of the box part of the truck, the entire front. So we have the cab of the truck here. The cab of the truck is gonna take up most of that. And so only the very top of that is going to be visible. How much? I'm not exactly sure. I don't ever put anything there. Okay, so now let's design our truck.
Okay, I like to go back and make sure that this is on top. In Canva, this template tends to snap to the entire thing and become the background instead of the foreground. So I'm going to download this. And if you think we're at the spot that, hey, let's, uh, let's do this, make this truck. No, we're not. Because what the game does is it tends to oversaturate, or not tends, it does. It oversaturates everything that it gets imported. So what we need to do is reduce the brightness by at least half. Now with lighter colors like these yellows and the whites, it tends to take a little bit more. Sometimes I know people adjust the saturation. I'm going to take this down to about minus 70 on the brightness. And it may look dim here, but in the game, it's going to look like we had it before. In other software programs like uh, GIMP um, or Photoshop or others, you'd be able to adjust that brightness. In Canva Online, you can't. So I have to download it, re-import it, and then darken it, which is pretty easy. It only takes a couple of seconds, as you can see. Okay, now I'm going to re-download this image. I've renamed it Lori D. That's the file name that it will need. All right, now we're going to go back to our downloads folder. And we're going to grab the LOD file. Now you can see this one is 64 by 64. So I'm going to go back up here. We're going to create a new design. That is 64 by 64. Okay, now we need to bring these files into the game and create the truck. So we need to go into our City Skylines folder uh, under app data on the C drive. And we're going to go into this add-ons folder. We're going to open that and then open the import folder. Now this is where you bring things into the asset editor. So these are our two files that we created. I'm going to bring those in and then go to the others. And I am going to bring in all of the files except for the two that we changed. Readme, of course, doesn't need to go in. Nothing in the optional folder needs to go in. So here we have all of our files plus the two that we created. And it's time to launch the game. Go into the asset editor, pick new, all right, in the asset editor, we're going to choose vehicle. After vehicle is selected, you can see up here all of the different categories of vehicles we have to choose from. Uh, you could make it whatever you wanted, really. I'm going to go with a generic industry truck. I'm going to choose the box truck. You see many of the other trucks that I've created. We're going to continue. Over here, we are going to select the truck that we made. And here you can see, here it is rendered in the game Yay! and I think that looks pretty good that brightness that I reduced it to seems to be looking pretty good so far I'm gonna hit continue and we're gonna come down here and check out our truck now if we take this in the nighttime you will see that box truck the lights are a little off the only thing you need to do in here is just change the position STM Santana in his guide tells you what uh, to change those values to. So now you can see the lights are in the correct position. Okay, and that is all that we need to do. If you want the cab to be different colors, you can make sure that use color variations is checked. Down here in material is where you would need to do that. So by default, it's white. If you want to change the color, you can change it to whatever you want to. The one thing that I don't like about the in-game asset editor is that once you find color that matches the box, if that's what you wish to do, open another one and you need to recreate that all over again because there is no copy function in the vanilla asset editor here. And then of course you can make it different colors. And so what happens to the game would randomly select one of these colors when it generates the truck. So the one other thing we need to do is to take some pictures of it. Uh, 
this doesn't matter so much because it's the vehicle. We're going to save this. I'm going to save this as the tutorial truck. And we're going to click save. Okay, we can also make a prop version of that truck by selecting prop. Uh, the truck you made is not going to show up in here. Uh, you can see a lot of the other trucks that I made. I had initially downloaded a Z Green gaming truck that Sakura had made. And so I started just using that as my as my base. You could I think you could use just about anything because once you get in here you're just going to select your model and it's going to show up. We're going to hit continue. We're going to go in the game. So this is uh, just for the prop version. There's nothing we need to worry about. Uh, there are no lights or anything, of course, on the prop at night, but the only thing we really need to do is take some pictures. So you can take pictures from different angles. If you wish to publish it on the workshop, you're going to want to take lots of pictures. Most importantly, you're going to want to get a good thumbnail because this is what's going to show up in game. And when we save the prop, This lower left is the file name. Up here is the name of the asset, so this is what's going to show up in game. And then the description that comes with each asset in the game uh, is created here. So it's the tutorial truck prop for YouTube. And now all of our different pictures that we created are here. And with this we will save the prop truck as well. And then of course we need to exit to desktop and relaunch the game to check it out in game. Okay and now that we are in game I have this generic industry warehouse here in my city of one and done. I can go in to find it. Oops. There it is and here's our prop version of the truck. And we could set that down wherever we like. And hopefully soon, we will see that truck spawn from the warehouse or perhaps drive into the warehouse. And here comes one now, just spawned from the warehouse with the blue cab. All right, and there we have it, folks. Hopefully a, a quick and easy to follow tutorial. To make your own truck once you start making them you probably won't stop it's a lot of fun it can be time consuming though getting everything just right uh, with the, the, the design that you're creating but other than that you can add your own elements to the city so with that thank you very much and i will see you the next time